and temperatures are on the rise yet again all over the globe that too the 3rd of july 2023 officially became the hottest day in recorded history this is as per data from the u.s national centers for environmental prediction it's a milestone but the kind we mourn and not celebrate the average global temperature reached 17.01 degrees Celsius on the 3rd of July, surpassing the August 2016 record of 16.92 degrees Celsius, marking a significant rise in global average temperatures. The southwestern U.S. has been suffering under an intense heat in recent weeks that too. The temperatures in South Texas recently soared to 48 degrees Celsius. China is also facing the wrath of heat waves with temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius. Temperatures in North Africa also approached the 50 degrees Celsius mark. Highland temperatures have been matched by those on the sea with warming intensified by an El Nino event and other factors. The global average sea surface temperatures hit 21 degrees Celsius in late March and have remained at record levels for that time of the year. That is throughout April and May as well. Sea ice around Antarctica is 2.5 million square kilometer less than the average for the time of the year. Now factors behind the rise in high land and ocean temperatures range from global warming to El Nino effect to the decline in Sahara Desert, dust blowing over the ocean and the use of low sulfur shipping fuels. 2022 was recorded to be the sixth hottest year on record and the trend ensuing this year does not leave any rays of hope. Is this going to become the new normal? Where years become hotter as they progress.